have the stove enclosure temporarily screwed uh, together and I've gone ahead and put the stove brackets on. I'm going to set the stove oven into the enclosure and see how it sits. Um, that'll let me know if I need to adjust the brackets. Um, once I'm happy with the placement and I know it's all going to work, then I'll take this back to the studio to laminate everything and put all the teak trim on. I uh, decided <clears throat> this is where the handle is going to be. I'm going to go ahead and get a second handle. So I have handles on both sides because I really like how it looks. Um, and it opens up this kind of nicely. And uh, it was fun knocking this. Uh, let me see where it's at. It was exciting to knock off the trim off the galley. So it means I have to commit. Um, the uh, screws that had been put in there in 1965 weren't coming out. So I uh, encouraged it with a rubber mallet and it came right off. But very exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm super stoked to, to move forward with this. It's going to be a massive project with building out the entire ice box and everything. But I'll take you guys along for the whole ride. Um, but today we're going to focus on the stove. I'm going to go ahead and try to put it in now. Uh, and see see how she sits in there <clears throat> There she is I think she could stand to go lower. I put them way up because uh, it seemed like there wasn't going to be good clearance, but I have over an inch of clearance when it's healed to that extreme. So I think I can take that down to half an inch. On the other hand, it might be good to leave it at this height. That way, because there's like little clasps, like... Uh, like little levers that, that when they activate it holds the oven in so it doesn't fly out. And those might be more difficult to get a screwdriver down in to if you when I take the oven out again. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to think on it, but it seems pretty good. Little handle's gonna be here. Teak trim. Pretty cool though. Stoked. Now I just gotta sit with it. I'll put in like a storage back here, recessed, uh, so we can have, you know, whatever utensils or spices or whatever. I'll ask Camille what she thinks is going to work best back there. She's the boss in the kitchen, so. Now that the placement's right and it's, it's sitting proper, I'm going to go ahead and take it out, take it home back to the studio. And that way I can laminate it and get everything uh, buttoned up completely with it. So it's exciting to see it in place though. It's been a long time. Long time coming. Thank you. 
we got the bulkhead sides of the enclosure for the stove laminated with the uh, Formica. Use contact cement. So there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and router the edges off so that this is the actually the the inner side of the um, the uh, bulkheads got laminated first, and I'll explain why later. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and router this so that it's all trimmed up. Keep the uh, surface, the Formica, from getting scratched by the router. Probably wouldn't happen, but it's better to be safe than sorry. You can use masking tape for this, or uh, anything really. I'm just using contact paper because I have it, and um, it covers a wide area. It's also not too crazy adhesive, so. Pretty, just gotta cover the surface. Okay, so I have my router. I have a trim router bit and I've set my depth so that it doesn't hit the table. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp down my piece. If you've never used a trim router before, um, you can get a little bitty one, uh, at which I have, but I don't have any bits for it. This is my full size router. And you see we got our blade has a ball bearing on the bottom. And that's gonna hold it right on the edge. So we made our Formica larger than the shape of our bulkhead. And as I go in, it's just gonna trim off this top plastic Formica edge. It's gonna run right alongside and make it the perfect shape of what it's uh, mounted to. Let's go ahead and get this done. I'm going to have to do half of it, uh, unclamp it, spin it around, and do the other half. There we have it. Go ahead and check the edges. Make sure there's no spot we need to hit back. Looks good though. Now we just peel off. Our contact paper. beautiful looking good so here's the inside and the reason I did the uh, or this is the actually the outside of the finished enclosure the reason I did the inside first is I have these countersunk tea nuts not to confuse with these nuts and that's what's gonna bolt the stove brackets on I wanted to have actual bolts instead of screws for the 
you know, extra strength, but I didn't want any nuts on the outside of the Formica towards the cabinet or towards the settee. So I went ahead and did these countersunk um, T-nuts, and that gives the same strength as a bolt and a nut and won't rip out. If we get capsized and the oven's hanging upside down, there's no way this is ripping out. But the reason I did this side first was so I could do this. Now I'm gonna be able to send a pilot bit through to mark on this side where the hole is so they can drill that out the proper size for the, the, uh, the nut that needs to go on to bolt the uh, stove in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock the other one out real quick and then we're gonna take all the business back to the studio and then uh, finish everything up over there. Get the other laminate done, get the whole enclosure together and uh, get this project buttoned up. So we're back at the studio getting ready to screw the whole enclosure together. I've gone ahead and pre-drilled all the holes and countersunk it a bit so that the screw heads will uh, sink down. Once I get the enclosure all screwed together, then um, we'll go ahead and laminate each of the sides and that'll hide all of the, the screw holes. I'm also going to apply some glue on the edges just to help tighten it all up, keep it all together. So now it's time to get screwing this thing together. Okay, will you help me here? Alright, we need to put that clamp on without making sure that it doesn't cover any of the holes. Down, please. Oh, yeah. Do you have any some more of those screws? These ones? The long ones? Yeah, the long ones at first. Hold it down for me, please. Is that split on the front of that? No. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with the, um, the bottom. So this was the, what's going to be the back. Go ahead and get this last side buttoned on.
raining like crazy outside right now, which is rare in Los Angeles. Here we go. Can you just push down on that for me, kind of hold those two together. Can you just go push on? Just hold pressure while I screw these in. There's a downfall to what I want to do. I think it'll be worth the effort. In fact, I know it'll be worth the effort. I am. Um, I'm going to be laminating this surface and this surface with one piece that has a transition on it. So I've cut this. I might have to trim it down. Yeah, I got to trim it a little bit, but. This is going to go at like a 45 here, and then I'll have this all laminated with that angle so that if any, you know, food particles or crumbs or any kind of mess fall down, there won't be this line in the back for stuff to get real dirty. We'll be able to clean it off easier. Makes it a little complicated. The um, one of the issues I had was I wanted to hide all of the screws, screw holes on the side that we just did. So I knew I had to mount it together before I laminated this side. Also, the weird structure with this angle made it so that I couldn't have really built these two planes with the angle and easily routed that clean edge. So the real tricky part now is that I'm going to have to pre-cut the exact piece that runs from there to here with the curve, perfect width, because I don't want to put any trim in here because it's going to be a curve. So that's going to be like uh, a little difficult. Other than that, this project's going great. Um, we got it all buttoned together. Next step is to get my 45 sort of transition brace in here, figure out how it all works. And um, then the other thing I'm gonna do today for sure is laminate both of these sides. I'm gonna wait and laminate this after the fact. I don't want three glued down pieces that I'm waiting and all this wacky stuff. And this is gonna take a lot of concentration, so we're, um, we're doing good for today. So now it's time to get this trimmed up and in place and then uh, we can go ahead and get these sides laminated on. <laughs> 